Hey y'all, good morning. Welcome to the recovery room. I'm excited today. It's so amazing on your Christian journey. You'd be like, I'm going through. And then you'd be like, oh y'all, today is a good day. <laughs> but I think the point is just keep going. Anyway, I'm Cassiopeia Elise. Welcome again to the recovery room. I'm so excited that you're here to join us. Um, today will be a great listen. I am truly excited. It's something I recently walked through and walking through probably will continue to walk through on you know my my journey with Christ which I'm so grateful for but before we get started let us pray God in the name of Jesus Lord we just thank you so much for another day thank you for waking us up thank you God that because you woke us up there's still purpose Lord I thank you that this will be the best day we ever had God in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord God, for the whole armor of God. I thank you um, for peace of mind. I just thank you, God, that as I get ready to read your word, Holy Spirit, come alive in each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. And let me hear you and let me only speak what your people need to hear. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. So, we are going to read Matthew 6, starting at verse 19. Bible. And it says, treasure, um, it's, the title was Treasures in Heaven, but anyway, um, it says, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, the, where the thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of life, light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. If then the light within you is darkness, how great is that darkness? Wow. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other. Or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. <laughs> Y'all ready preaching? We need to start. Okay. All right. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, what you will drink, or about your body, what you will wear. It is not life more than food and the body more than clothes. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or stow away in barns. And yet your heavenly father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow? They do not labor and spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you? you of little faith so do not worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear for the pagans run after all these things and your heavenly father knows what you need I'm sorry and your heavenly father knows that you need them but seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well therefore do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will worry about itself each day has its has enough trouble of its own so just going back to the beginning of the scripture it was saying of the of the scriptures it says do not store up for yourself treasures on earth where moths and vermin destroy but store up treasures in heaven i don't think god is saying hey don't like get a bank account and put money in it because he knows we need we need money right we need money money is like a tool right um, just like a hammer. I, I tell um, some of my friends, like, that's something I had to learn. Money is like a tool. But sometimes, we ain't got that tool. So then that's when we freak out, right? Or we have we have money, but we think of money as like, um, if I have it, then I'm going to, this lets people know, like, I'm blessed because I have a lot of money. Or if I have money, people think I'm great. Like, you can go both secular and both worldly. Most secular people, if I have money, you know, they're going to think I'm on. <laughs> and then the, the, the 
other people, Christian people, if, if when I have money, they feel I'm blessed, like I can show them I'm blessed. And yes, you are blessed if, 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 if God provides you with those things. He's just saying, don't make them a God. Don't make money a God, right? That's the first part of this scripture. And then um, it was saying, the eye is the lamp of the body. If your eyes are healthy, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eyes are unhealthy, your whole body will be full of darkness. I believe he's saying like um, concerning your eyes, maybe be careful with what you put into your spirit. Be careful with what you watch. Um, be careful with what you entertain for so long. A lot of us are into social media. So if we spend more time filling ourselves with that, <laughs> um, not that it's bad, some people use for great platforms I'm not saying that but if we feel it with like seeing and comparing ourselves to other people I don't think that's a great thing um, because we're all uniquely designed and we're, we're all um, a masterpiece of God so when we look on social media comparing and rating I, rating each other I think that's where the darkness takes place now if you're used if you're you know um, pouring into yourself such as like reading the Bible or um, getting inspirational messages your your eyes are taking all of that in and filling you with dark with excuse me with light um, it goes on to say in the world in the word but if you're um, if then the light within you is darkness how great is that darkness i'm gonna read it it was verse 23 but if your eyes are unhealthy your whole body will be full of darkness if then the light within you is darkness how great is that darkness no two, no one can serve two masters masters either you will hate one and love the other or be devoted to one and despise the other and then it was going back to like you cannot serve both god and money most things that we do um revolves around money yes um, but again, God is saying in this, and, um, don't serve, you cannot serve God and money. You cannot be so focused on money, 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 that you forget God is the creator of the money, right? God is the creator of all the things that we need, right? So don't choose you this day who you can serve, right? Focus on God. Um, we'll get down later why we need to focus on God and seek Him, right? Because a lot of stuff happens when we seek Him. I want to share something. Um, recently, I walked through a season where I was like, I just bills, bills, bills upon bills, bills upon bills. And I was so stressed out. I was so stressed out. Like, God, I just don't have enough. Like, I'm trying. I just don't have enough. And so... I was instructed to go to the center that helps and so I went to the center like okay God it's gonna be some relief they're gonna help me they did not help me at all so I was still here stuck with these bills and these expenses right but then when I was there at the center I got prayed for right and then they blessed me with food which I didn't ask for but God you know knew I needed extra right so Peace came over me like, why are you worrying about that? Like, I'm going to provide for you. I'm going to make a way out of no way for you. Just trust me, right? So, you know, I, we emotional. So I cried. <laughs> I was so upset, so sad. And then I just got calm. Like, Cassie, God is going to take care of you. I spoke to one of my two, two women in my life that I, I, I see as wise women um and they were saying hey man god's gonna provide for you god has you god is going to take care of you cassie don't you worry about it and i know that but when you're walking through it that fire can get so heated like i'm about to burn you know but god has us he uses those things to push us close and to build our faith and to build our trust in him so anyway back to the story didn't get help talk to my two wise people that i love talking to Next thing I know, my cash app goes off. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. So not only did I have enough to cover like the bills that I had, but I had like enough for other things. And I was just, 
I was so great. Oh, and an another friend, a guy friend of mine, he said something, and I was like, oh, my God. He, he just said the Lord laid it on his heart to bless me. So I was like, oh, my God, Lord, I just thank you, Lord, I just thank you. So in the beginning, I didn't, I didn't have to worry, which leads us to the next part of the Bible. Do not worry. This is Psalms. I'm sorry, this is Matthew 6. Still, he's telling us, therefore, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, what you will drink, right? What you will wear. Don't worry. God has it. Then he goes on to talk about the birds. If he's taking care of the birds of the field, and then he compares it to like, you know, Solomon and all his wisdom. He ain't worry about all that. He, 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 none of that mattered. Like, so don't worry about your clothes, what you're going to eat, what you're going to wear, your bills, your children, your finances, um, your home. God is going to provide all of those things, but he's just saying, don't let that be the God of your life. Don't let that be the sole focus of and, and purpose. Every day that you wake up, you wake up and think about, oh, I got to pay this bill. No, wake up and seek God. God, we love you. God, we bless you. Thank you for another day. Thank you for giving us air. Seek him. Go in on him. And I'm talking to myself because I'm not perfect. Some days I wake up and I'm like, Lord, what are we going to do? But I have to snap back like, no, I'm not going to worry about what, what needs to be done. God, I'm just going to wake up and tell you, thank you. Good morning. How are you doing, God? You know? So, moving on. So, what else? What else? Oh, going back to the okay so don't worry about what shall we eat what shall we drink what should we wear for the pagans run after all these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them again just confirming what i said god knows what we need what we desire that's why he tells us drum roll seek ye first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given unto you as well many times we act like god doesn't know that we need things i know for me sometimes i'm like hey yo heaven this cassie y'all got my message about the first time that i call all right i was just calling back ask god if he remembered me uh i'm, I'm gonna just leave my telephone number you know just tell him to call me when he get in you know we act like god is that type of god and he's not he sees us even when we walk through trials, those trials are to make us stronger and confident in Him. But He's telling us, I know you're going to walk through this, but what I want you to do is totally the opposite. Don't even focus on that. Yeah, I see that high, high, all that, that high list of things that you need, but don't even worry about it because I got it. I got it. All I want you to do is, there uh, is, uh, but first, Matthew 6, verse 33. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. When I, y'all, let me tell you, when I was in that season, I was so stressed. But once I got like that, peace, nothing, nothing was handled right then the way that I did it. But when I relaxed and I got around godly women who were pouring into me godly advice, there was a peace that came over me like, man, why am I worried about this? God has it under control. So he's telling us, don't worry. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't, don't, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own, of its own. And that's so true. Every day that you wake up, it's going to be some drama. But you know what? Every day that you wake up, God is ready to bless you and, and, and add blessings to your life, right? God is ready to push you further into that purpose. Whether like he's using something um, horrible to push you into that purpose because he because every good and no no whether he's using something horrible to push you into that i get so excited i want to say what i'm hearing right even if he uses something horrible to push you into your purpose and your calling just know all things work together for the good of them that love the lord and are called to his purpose so all of these things are pushing us to first Seek him because he knows what you need. He knows what you desire. He knows what you face. All we have to do is seek him first. A part of the recovery room and what I just like to do, just who I am, is I like to randomly be a blessing to people. Just like those three people just randomly sent me money. I like to randomly do those things. So I'm just, I'm not soliciting.
soliciting, but if you would like to be a part of that, $3, it, $5, it doesn't matter. If you would like to sew into that, um, my cash app is listed in the, the, the description below. It's dollar sign Cassiopeia Elise. If you would like to be a part of that ministry, um, it's just something that I love to do. Randomly pay for groceries or randomly send people money. And if you would like to do that, I will not turn it down. <laughs> Y'all, I love you. Thank you for joining. And I'll see you next time in the recovery room. This place of healing, what was said is not what God